So a couple months ago I reviewed the Scythe Mugen 5 Rev B and today I have a competitor to that cooler, to the Mugen 5. This is the Scythe Fuma Rev B. The specific model is the SCFM 1100. They sell at similar price points and this video is actually going to serve as a tutorial to the installation for this cooler. As you could probably see it's already installed behind me in my computer. Uh, but we're going to go through the unboxing, what's in the box and also the installation process. By the way, I do apologize, I am sick once again, or I have allergies or something, I don't know, so this eye is a little bit red, and if you hear my nose, uh, you know, go off, then I do apologize for that. Anyway, comment down below what you got for Christmas, and uh, also like the video if you like games. Alright, let's get into the video. Inside of the box, there's a second box with goodies, two 120mm fans, and the tower cooler. Inside of the smaller box, you get a small tube of thermal paste, six fan clips, each fan only needs two clips, so you get two extra clips for an additional fan if you need them. Because this cooler could hold three fans. And of course, you get the necessary screws, nuts, bolts, brackets for the LGA 775, 1150, whatever, could be 1151, 1366 and 2011 for the Intel side, and AM2+, AM3+, AM4, FM1 and FM2+, for the AMD side. Basically, whatever socket you use, you'll be covered. Oh, and you also get a fan splitter. In this video, I'm installing this cooler on the 1151 platform. I'm using the Intel Core i7-7700K with a Z270 motherboard. So the installation process is really not that hard. It's actually very similar to the installation process of the Scythe Mugen 5 Rep B, which I've made a video on previously. What was a bit difficult is installing the fans once the cooler is installed. Before we install, I believe it would be easier to remove the motherboard from the case and install the cooler that way. I installed it while the motherboard was inside of the case and I had a bit of trouble. Anyway, installing it in the 1151 platform, you need to place the black brackets, the biggest one, on the back side of the motherboard and get the bigger screws and put them through the front side of the motherboard and into the middle hole on the back bracket. The middle hole on the bracket is for the 1151 socket. It may be different for other platforms. After that, you need the two smaller brackets and the smaller screws. Place them perpendicular to the RAM slots or else the cooler will not fit well. Secure them with the smaller screws. At this point, you can and probably should place the rear fan on the tower. Don't put the middle one yet because you're going to need that space empty. You can also put a fan in the front if you have an extra one and a big enough motherboard. After that, you need the single bracket and no screws. Ignore the ones I'm holding. You do not need them for the 1151 platform. You place the bracket in between the towers and place it over the CPU. Make sure you've applied thermal paste and removed the base plate protective sticker. The thermal paste I used here is Arctic Silver MX4 or something like that. I didn't use the one that was included. Once you've applied the thermal paste and removed the sticker, you can place it over the CPU and tighten the screws. Then you can install the middle fan, but I found that this was most difficult. That's why it would be much easier to install the cooler when the motherboard is outside the case. Also, make sure you plug in the cables and you're done. Good to go. So that's how you install the Scythe Fuma Rev B. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Um, and that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.